There are a lot of people who struggle with doubt. Uh, there are several reasons. One, you don't know enough of the doctrine of salvation to understand that it is built in security. So you need a, a more biblical understanding of salvation. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people who minimize doctrine, but the very foundation of a believer's security is a full understanding of the doctrine of salvation. You, you can dismiss penal substitution, or you can believe it, and there the foundation is laid for your understanding that your salvation is eternal. Secondly, I think people doubt their salvation because they are basically in a situation where doubt is cast on salvation. You could possibly lose this. The reverse of that is this. Don't go back to an event and say, well, I know I'm a Christian because I prayed this prayer. Ask simple questions like, what, what do you love? What do you have strong affection for? If you've been transformed by the power of the Spirit of God, if you're a new creation in Christ, there are going to be some marks. And, and I'll, I'll just lay these out in the simplest way I can. The first one is love. You will love the Lord. There'll be a strong impulses in your heart toward Christ, toward the Lord. You will love the Scripture. That's not an unbeliever's affection. You will love the church. You'll want to be there. You will love God's people, and you will even love the lost. The second thing is, if you're a true believer, you'll be marked by humility. Uh, you won't be proud, boastful, brash, self-exalting. There will be just a very sweet kind of brokenness that's just part of you. Thirdly, you will desire what is right. Your heart will long for those things. So I say this. It's not the perfection of your life that demonstrates your salvation. It's the direction. And it's in the direction of love and humility and righteousness.